while back, I did a video response to 24 questions black people have for white people, and I'll throw a link to it in the description box below. It came from BuzzFeed, a well-known clickbait website that spends a ton of time making lists for people who really aren't bright enough to think of these things on their own. One thing that didn't occur to me at the time, although certainly it should have been because BuzzFeed makes lots of lists for every group under the sun, is that they would have done another video for other racial groups. Well, they did. This time for Asians. So I'm going to take this ridiculous thing on and see if it's any more intelligent than the ones they did for black people. I'm not holding my breath. Before I do, though, I want to point something interesting out. This comes from a YouTube channel called BuzzFeed Yellow. Really? Now, I know that all these videos come from that channel, and it's not really intended to be aimed at Asians, but didn't anyone ever think that maybe a video aimed at Asians or about Asians, that might be an inappropriate name? I mean, racial sensitivity, BuzzFeed? Why aren't the liberals whining about that? I don't know. Anyhow, here we go. Why do you think every Asian person is Chinese? That's like me saying to like a white person, hey, you're English. I am English. F well, I don't think that, but I can see where someone might, especially since China has the highest population of Asian people at 1.35 billion. It makes up nearly 40% of the population of all Asian countries. It's a pretty safe assumption if you're going to be making assumptions at all. Of course, I don't do that because, by and large, the people I run into aren't Chinese. They're American, and Chinese-American, or Japanese-American, and Korean-American. Those are just stupid phrases. Why do you think a film or TV show is diverse just because there are one or two black people in it? We're here, too. I don't give a damn if a show is diverse. Artificial diversity just for the sake of diversity is idiotic. A show is good or not good on its own merits. It has nothing at all to do with the skin color of the people who happen to be on it. I don't care if the actors are all black or all white or all Asian or all Hispanic or all male or all female or all gay or all straight. I don't give a damn. I care if they're good actors. Period. So why are you so hung up on race? Could it be that Maybe you're racist? Why are the awkward nerd characters the only roles available for Asians in film? We do a lot of other stuff, too. They're not? In fact, if you do a Google search for Asian actors, you'll get a very, very long list. And I didn't see a single one of them who are typically playing awkward nerd characters. Jet Li, Chow Yun-Fat, Jackie Chan. These are all well-known action heroes. Daniel Day Kim is another well-known Asian actor who has played diverse roles on shows like Lost and Hawaii Five-O. Looking through his list of work, I can't find any awkward nerd characters. I can find professional roles like doctors and government agents. Seems like you might be stretching here just a little bit. Why are all of you talking about our penises? Um, exactly who's talking about your penises? I can honestly say that... Not only have I never talked about an Asian penis, I've never even thought about it until now. Why in the world would anybody give a damn about your dick? Why do you think Asians can't be the stars of movies? There aren't going to be any Asian celebrities out there to cast if we haven't been given a chance yet. Asians are the stars of plenty of movies. What the hell are you talking about? Going back to the aforementioned Jackie Chan, do you remember the Rush Hour movies? You know, the one with an Asian man and a black man headlining? Some people have some pretty short memories. Why do you think watching Korean dramas and K-pop makes you an expert on Korean culture? Like, does me watching girls make me an expert in white culture? It does. First off, who says that? Nobody. Ever. That's an incredibly stupid thing to say. But you notice this guy turns around and says that watching movies about girls suddenly makes him an expert on white culture, which is not only idiotic, but entirely misses the point that not all girls are white. Secondly, and I hate to have to point this out, but race and culture are not the same. Korean culture is the culture of people who live in Korea. White people living in Korea are living in Korean culture. Black people living in Korea, even though they may be hated because they're black, they're still living in Korean culture. Culture has nothing to do with skin color. Thinking otherwise is racist. Why do you cast white people to play roles that are meant for Asian people? I'm not going to forget Emma Stone. Where do you get the idea that anything is meant for anyone? 
I know this comes as a shock to people on the left, but the whole point of making movies is to make money. It's not to be racially diverse. Therefore, they get the best actors and the best directors, the ones who put the most butts in seats in theaters. Those are the people who work on these movies. It isn't a grand conspiracy against non-white actors. If you want to be a popular actor, you need to earn it. Race has nothing to do with it. I get really sick and tired of people thinking their skin color ought to give them extra privileges. You want it? Earn it. Why do you think saying namaste is an appropriate way to greet me? Why do you think saying ni hao is a good thing to say to us? If you're not actually going to converse with me in Chinese, I don't need to hear it. I don't? But then again, I don't give a damn about your race or where you or your family originally came from. If you're in America, as an American citizen, then I treat you like an American. Then again, I don't spend my time trying to be racially sensitive. I treat people like people. I don't recognize skin colors as inherent barriers like the idiots on the left tend to. In fact, I don't even bring up race. I don't care if you're black or white, Hispanic or Asian. You are a person and your worth is determined by your character, not your color. I'm also not the one constantly bringing race into everything. That's the social justice warriors who preach equality, but concentrate on things that divide. Why do you think I eat dogs? I have two dogs. So are you denying that dog meat is eaten in Korea? There are between 4,000 and 6,000 restaurants in Korea right now that serve dog meat, and approximately four and a half tons of dog meat is consumed annually in Korea. Now, it's not eaten by the majority, but a certain sizable minority does eat dog meat. And that makes it, if nothing else, an interesting curiosity that people might ask you about, especially if you make a big deal about your heritage. It happens to a lot of people who come from countries with different dietary habits. I know someone who was born in England, and he gets asked all the time if he eats blood sausage, even though his family moved to the United States when he was two years old. Why do you think that Hindi and Hindu are the same thing? Well, I don't. And you can always correct people, you know? You don't have to be offended by an honest mistake. And, of course, while not all Hindus speak Hindi, Hindi is the official language of India, where the overwhelming majority of Hindus live. Therefore, I can kind of see the confusion, can't you? Why are you so surprised that I can speak English well? I was born in America. I'm not. I'd ask where you were born, but leftists seem to take offense at that. But it is an important question. People born in the United States and raised speaking English will obviously speak English natively. It doesn't really matter what your skin color is in that case. However, people born overseas and raised speaking other languages, those who learn English later in life, it can be somewhat surprising that they can pick up the language so well, just as native English speakers who move to other countries and have to learn other languages, they'll probably get the same reaction. And some languages are harder to make the transition from because they share little in common with English, and that makes them move even more impressive. You seem to take it as an insult. I take it as a compliment, especially if you've gone from speaking one language to another and apparently have done so flawlessly. Why do you always ask me, you know, where are you really from? Because obviously I'm from my mom's vagina. Why do you guys think it's okay to call me an immigrant or a foreigner? I was born in America. But that's not really what you think. Otherwise, you wouldn't be making this video. Let's be honest. Liberals tend to wear their ethnicity on their sleeves. They often call themselves hyphenated Americans. They're American, but they're something else too. They make themselves a target of this kind of question because they insist on making a distinction. Whereas, I'm just an American. Oh, I know where my ancestors came from. I just don't care. I have no affinity or interest in the languages, cultures, or traditions of any other country outside of my own. Therefore, nobody asks me where I come from. I come from here. If you don't want to be asked, don't act like anywhere else makes a difference. Why do you think Indians aren't Asians? India is literally in Asia. Why do you say it's basically the same thing when I tell you I'm from Sri Lanka and not India? They're different countries. Russia's in Asia too. You find very few people who would define Russia as an Asian nation though. However, when you're talking about Asian, the word refers mostly to Eastern Asian nations and to people having physical characteristics common to those areas. The Middle East is not referred to as Asian either, even though it is in Asia. 
Why does a person of color automatically mean black to you? I'm a person of color too. Hey, newsflash for you. White is a color too. Person of color is a stupid term in the first place. Let's just stop with person and stop trying to differentiate based on skin color. It's as ridiculous as introducing yourself as a person of red hair color. Who gives a damn? And if you do, you're a racist. I think all brown people are Indian. Why I guess that depends on where you live. But if you bring up brown people in a lot of areas, they'll think you're Hispanic. Clearly, brown people doesn't just refer to those of Indian descent. You don't get to own colors. I don't refer to anyone as brown people. People are people. Just be a good person and stop worrying about what particular hue you are. Why do you think you deserve a high five for pronouncing my name correctly? Why if you have an odd name for the area in which you live, then yes, people are going to have difficulty pronouncing it. If you take a lot of very common American names and move them to other countries, they're going to have the same problem. Welcome to reality. Why do you think including diversity in the workplace reduces the quality of work? I thought you thought we were all nerds. It doesn't. What reduces the quality of work is being required to hire people only because they fill a quota and not because they're the best people for the job. Why do you think it's okay to call me exotic? I'm you apparently don't know the meaning of the word. Exotic, according to the definition, means originating in or characteristic of a distant foreign country. If that describes you, then you're exotic. Why do you insist on being offended by it? I mean, technically we're the largest part of the world population, so shouldn't white people be exotic? Not in areas of the world where white people are commonplace, but in China or Korea or Japan, white people are exotic. In lots of places in the Middle East, white women are trophy wives because they're exotic. Stop and think about things once in a while, won't you? Why do you think I can't see properly? Do you really think my eyes are that small? Why you are aware that myopia is more commonplace among Asians than among non-Asians, right? Science, maybe you've heard of it. Singapore, for example, has the highest rate of myopia in the world, affecting nearly 80% of the population. Compare that to India, where myopia rates are only 6.9%. In the United States, prevalence among whites is 4.4%, 6.6% for blacks, and climbs to 18.5% for Asians. Genetics plays a big part in eyesight. Sorry to burst your bubble. Why is it weird when all Asian people hang out, but it's fine when all white people hang out? I don't think it's weird when anyone hangs out. I do think it's weird, however, when people hang out specifically because of external physical characteristics and not because they have common interests. But what can you expect when you have people who preach diversity but can only see skin color in everything? So tell me, what does a sunburn feel like? You've never had one? Because whether you want to admit it or not, the amount of melanin in your skin doesn't protect you from sunburn. It just makes it slower and less severe. Why do you keep trying to justify yellow fever? Who's trying to justify yellow fever? It has nothing whatsoever to do with Asian people. You know that, right? It's a historically South American and African disease, so named because the liver damage associated with the disease produces jaundiced skin. Or are we still trying to lay claim to colors? I don't know why they use fever for all these things. It's not a disease. It's just f***ing. Because it's an acute hemorrhagic disease, the major characteristics of which are bleeding into the skin, liver and kidney deterioration. Oh, and a high fever. Why are we being stereotyped as cheap or stingy? Maybe I'm just cost efficient. Well, it's mostly cultural. In lots of parts of Asia, they're just more culturally frugal. China, for example, has a no-tipping culture where nobody tips waitstaff or other help. This has only started to change in very recent history due to Western influence. They also tend to keep money within the family and not spend extravagantly. When those people came to the U.S., where conspicuous consumption is much more common, they were seen as cheap because they didn't spend money on frivolous things. And I don't think that's a bad thing. It isn't cheap. It's being fiscally responsible. Why do you think all Asian people are smart? I mean, when I was in high school, there was a Korean valedictor. No, actually, there was an Indian valedictory. Damn it. I guess you guys are right. Asians are smart. Education is valued and encouraged much more in some Asian cultures than it is in America, which is a real shame, but not something that you should be ashamed of. 
Of course, we all know about Japanese cram schools and things like that, but lots of parents in Asian countries, they save money so they can send their children to the best schools in America so they can get the best education they can. And I'm not sure why you see this as a bad thing. You know, the more I look at these things, the more that it seems that the ones that are keeping these cultural and racial stereotypes alive are the people who complain about them the most. I'm not saying there aren't racists out there of every stripe, but I've honestly never heard a single one of the complaints here in my real life. It's almost like someone did a Google search for Asian stereotypes and then hired a bunch of Asian people to read lines about them. In fact, this being BuzzFeed, that wouldn't surprise me a bit. That's why in all of these videos, they've only got three or four people making the same arguments. They're almost certainly paid actors reading a script. But like I said, it's BuzzFeed, it's clickbait, and unfortunately, I've added to their 3 million views on this video. Hopefully, because I use ad blockers, I haven't given them any revenue at all for it. They don't deserve it for this trash. So anyway, what do you think? I'd like to hear comments from people who both agree with me and those who disagree. Are any of these questions valid? Do you have any more questions for me? Let me know. So until next time, please think critically about the things you watch on YouTube, and by all means, Watch out for people who are only trying to use inflammatory titles to get you to click play. It's a scam. Don't fall for it.